Hello, Spider Wayne here. Today, I'd like to talk about the scheduled maintenance costs on my Spider RT. Let's go for a ride. Today is Saturday, April 15th, and I have an appointment to get my third scheduled maintenance service on my Spider RT. I'm heading to my dealer, Maddie's Motorsports, in Dansville, New York. My dealer is about 100 miles south of here, and it is one of my favorite rides. It's pretty much all back country highways in a small town. Oh, well, look, I even get to ride through Alabama on my way to the dealer. No, not the state. It's a one-horse town, but there is a hotel. <laughs> Before I get into the costs, I'm going to start with the scheduled maintenance service intervals. So when you buy a brand new Spider, the first service is due at 3,000 miles or 5,000 kilometers. After that, the service intervals are at every 9,300 miles or 15,000 kilometers or every 12 months, whichever occurs first. I have not yet ridden over 9,300 miles per year, so my service intervals have been every 12 months. Coming up on my right is the Mount Morris entrance to Letchworth State Park. This park is also known as the Grand Canyon of the East. It's just not as big. However, the Genesee River has carved a gorge through this park that is 550 feet deep. To put that into perspective, that's three times higher than the Niagara Gorge below Niagara Falls, which is 188 feet deep. So now for the costs. Keep in mind, I will be talking about the costs that I've occurred at my dealer. Your costs in your region may very well be different. Also, if you purchase a maintenance service agreement, obviously your scheduled maintenance will be covered during the agreed upon types and number of services you purchased. I will discuss the cost of my first three scheduled maintenance services, as well as one unscheduled service, a rear tire replacement. Each of the first three scheduled maintenance services on my Spider include an oil change and a multi-point inspection, which my dealer lists as a 50-point inspection. My first service was in April of 2021, so two years ago. The odometer was at 2,927 miles and the cost was $353. The second service was in April of 2022. The odometer was at 10,081 miles and the cost was $340 just slightly less than the year before. My third service this weekend, the odometer was at 15,195 miles and the cost was at $422. It went up. So here's a recap of the cost for the first three services. And what you'll see here is the green boxes are the costs that are lower than it was the prior service. The red boxes are the costs that are higher than the prior service. You know, I'm starting to wonder how many times I've been photographed or videoed without knowing it. <laughs> I didn't even notice this until editing. And that's a handy feature uh, with a 360 camera because you capture stuff around you that you didn't see while you're riding. Next is the cost of the one unscheduled service, a rear tire replacement. In October of 2021, with just 9,055 miles on my tires, or just over a year after I bought the Spider, I needed a new rear tire, and that cost me $373. The tire alone was $189. So, plus the labor, and the dealer tire disposal fee, and the New York State tire waste management fee, and of course sales tax, total cost was $373 out the door. This is my exit coming up, and across the highway there to the left is the back of the dealer's location. Maddie's Motorsports here in Dansville, New York is a pretty cool dealership. You know, if you're interested in a Spider, a Riker, an F3, or a Can-Am ATV, or a Can-Am UTV, or even a Skidoo, 
or possibly a Polaris slingshot or a Polaris snowmobile. And in particular, for anyone interested in Indian motorcycles, Maddie's Motorsport is certainly worth checking out. So here we are, arriving at Maddie's Motorsports in Dansville, New York. I really like this dealership. I'm very happy with the service I have received, and I really can't complain about the uh, cost increases too, too much. I mean, everything is costing more these days. So it was about 50 degrees this morning when I left home, and it's going to be over 80 degrees this afternoon when I ride home. A beautiful sunny day, and it's the warmest day of the year so far. Anyway, if you've stuck around until now, then thank you so much. And until next time, please take care.